Hello everyone and welcome to today's Trump webinar on TrueDevs Boost and the easy and smooth programming workflow through the system. So we start by the by the overview of the product. TrueDevs Boost is basically um, to sum to sum it up, it's the Boost technology plus the new operating philosophy. As you can see on that graph, um, the orange level is the Boost technology. Boost technology contains all the automatic calculations and all the um, new whole new architecture behind the product. And the new operating philosophy means that we have divided the software into two levels. The first level is called Home Zone. Um, it's basically our control level and our order management. And you get with one click to your in C program. Very prominent is our boost button. The boost button um, starts the automatic take calculations um, within bend, laser, and punch programming. Our second level is the so-called tech zone. It's um, the interactive processing um, level. Um, it contains all the technologies such as bend, laser, and punching, and of course the nesting, but more to that, it even contains a 2D and a full 3D CAD tool with, of course, the unfolding feature. At the beginning and the end, there's um, always the order and the end would be the generation of the in C program of the corresponding technology. So for the workflow in uh, five easy steps, um, you see that graph. First of all, we need to import files. Those can be any 2D or 3D geometry. There is a um, very huge list of supported formats, um, which I will show you later on. Out of every part, out of every geometry, um, the software generates an order and you set your attributes for the order, such as quantity, customer details, and of course, material assignment. assignment. Well, the third step would be um, within the programming workflow would be um, the validation of the geometry. Validation means that, um, of course, the, the geometry is um, checked for sheet metal rules and um, it's also prepared for sheet metal according to sheet metal rules. But not only that, even the unfolding is created automatically. You see the bending design and cut um, icons there in orange. And orange means in that workflow that the automatic calculation will take place. So our fourth um, programming step would be um, done simultaneously. And TrueDops Boost calculates the bending program automatically. It even generates automatically the in C and the setup plan. And um, we are able to um, program our nesting and technology of cutting simultaneously, meaning that we generate the whole sheet layout and process um, according to the selected machine. Um, it might be a laser punching or punch combination machine. And of course, last programming step would be the transfer of the generated NC um, to the machine. So right now I will switch to the application itself and show you um, the basic workflow I mentioned. What you see here is the, um, the user interface of the home zone. At the left side, um, we are right now in the, um, in the category order and there are some more like ne nesting part or material and machine configuration. So on, on the left bottom side, you see some uh, filters, which I will mention later on. In the center part, um, you see the, the order list, con which basically contains all the orders in the system. And on the right side, a uh, detailed view of each selected order. So 
we are go going to import some files, 2D and 3D files. Of course, you can um, check them in the right panel window if they're um, supported for previewing um, some L brackets. You can even turn them. And here's the list I mentioned before. Um, so quite a few direct formats. Um, basically, those are all um, major CAT formats which are available on the market. So as you can see, it's um, there is IGES, JT, Open, 3D, PDF, uh, ProE, Solid Edge, SolidWorks, and so on. And I just select all the parts in my window and import them. The good thing about the home zone is um, we have implemented so-called status concept and you always, at any point of time, um, you always keep track of your selected part, order, or even your nested layouts. And with one glance, you see what's the next programming step. So, for example, if your design is um, correct and your part is completed, the next step would be generation of the um, nesting. And here are the ex on the left side, the explanation basically um, of your icons, statuses. So if you want to select all your missing um, missing sheet layout, you just click once on the missing icon and then everything will be selected accordingly. And um, the benefit for that is that you, um, as I said, always see the next task. What we do for all orders is um, we set the finish date of the order, let's say one week later, and we set our customer and we save that information for all um, the imported orders. So um, we treat 2D and 3D files in a different manner. Let's say I'll just um, hit part quantity 7 for um, those four parts. And um, I just deselect the bend bending program and we boost those four files. So material and raw material, um, because those files were geos, they're saved as the property of the geo and you see they're automatically um, assigned to our geometry. Then for the other geos, which I have imported, um, I'll do the same. I'll deselect the bending program and boost the selected programs, selected geometries, and you can see here if there's any error, um, it might be a geometry problem or a problem like here. There's no material assigned. I can also select all um, those files and select my material and even the raw material, let's say one millimeter, and there's no tool list for the unfolding, and I boost those three ge geometries again. So we handle 3D parts a little different, and there is no, no way to um, read out the material information, so we have to set it manually. And of course, the raw material, the thickness sheet thickness is um, recognized out of the file, CAT file. And we have to select the unfold tool list. So it might be for a certain um, true band series um, with different tool lists, but um, I just select all tools. And the favorite bending machine as we can check it in the band settings, it's a true band 50 to 30. So as I have assigned the material information, tool list and my bending machine, I also boost those files. And you see they, they start calculating and being processed automatically by the system and we just leave it and we will um, proceed with our, let's say, laser program and 
um, I just select all the files I have imported and create a nesting. So as you might remember, um, I have assigned different sheet thicknesses to my geometries. And of course we need um, one material and one thickness. So TrueDops Boost help you to um, to make no mistakes and as you can see if I import 2D files with different thicknesses TrueDops Boost warns you. And that's a very good thing with the software you, n you never make mistakes. You always are able to correct yourself and um, basically to eliminate, eliminate um, all the errors um, which appear. So even I have made a mistake or I want deliberately those geometries within my one millimeter um, nesting. So it's on you to decide what you want um, to do with your file. All right, I'll just decide to that I have made a mistake and just select all and remove them. Now I've got only three parts and um, I can still change my quantity and let's say um, we hit 5, 15 and 5 and um, another good thing about the status um, even within nesting you see that um, there's an underproduction meaning that um, there's no layout yet, sheet layout so this symbol is um, the icon is there um, next step, step would be a selection of my um, cutting machine and of course my laser technology table. So if you want to set a certain table as a favorite you just hit the star and last step would be selection of my raw sheet. I select the um, small sheet format and hit again the boost button. The sheet um, program is being calculated by by cut um, meaning that the layout is generated technology is applied with the according um, laser technology table and the NC is being generated and we do see a preview and um, you see the scrap in percentage the cutting time of the machine and of course production package is generated and as you can see, um, there is a second um, sheet with with a few fo parts. I can open it any time and um, can delete that second sheet. And of course, you see again under production with w one glance um, what's going on here. So what you can s w what you see here is um, the new cut application and we have integrated nesting, laser processing and punch punching processing and of course punching laser um, processing into one application and depending on the machine you select you get your right um, features and functions within the application. You see the beautiful designed uh, ribbon concept. Um, there's no function navigator with um, tedious um, workflow of uh, selecting the um, function feature. Go over to your um, desired uh, geometry object and then type in some values. Um, it's much more intuitive. Um, we have created a new concept so um, for example we've introduced the right click if you want to invert the processing if you want to delete the processing or get some information about your property of the um, geo file of the file um, you can easily access it, access it with the right mouse button with one click and of course um, you can change everything um, concerning your sheet layout, you can move parts, you can delete parts, you can add um, new parts from your part scroll um, out above there and of course so many new features 
um, you can turn the part and of course you get some warnings and it's like I said very intuitive and just just nice to operating with and um, open contours of course if you want to change any um, let's say we displace the approaching is just two clicks two mouse clicks and that's it so but not only that we have improved the user experience we have even introduced new nesting algorithms and that's it that's really money saving and that new algorithm even allows you to to nest in a more efficient way so I'll just close um, that sheet and I would like to show you the punch part and for that I just select those four parts create a new nesting so what we do is uh, we select again our machine um, I would like to select the Trumatic 6000 and um, also select the raw sheet format and technology um, table is selected automatically because so set as a favorite and I hit the boost button again so now what the program does is um, it applies the pre-selected um, tool list which was defined um, initially and then of course the optimizer is um, being carried out and then the NC file is also being generated so if there are any warnings if there are many um, any um, mistakes you you get also warned even within the tech zone already so in that example some part of scrap might become free unplanned so we open it um, within the tech zone again to um, check it and I just would like to show you some uh, punch related features so as you can see here we see the first um, sheet and of course the punching and laser area and we can just switch off the um, positioning lines so as I said before um, even punching got much more intuitive and we can just reposition our clamps and what we also can do for example if I click on a punch um, punching line you get those arrows and it's very easy to define the um, overlapping area of your punch tool path and again here it's quite easy to rotate tool simultaneously set tool parameters and um, invert processing delete processing and so on so again you access many of your informations uh, very fast and easy for example if you just hit um, on the tool icon here and select a certain uh, processing type you get the right tool selected and can um, for example create a new processing on another area so what I'd like to do um, in the next step is simulating the processing and um, that you just see how it so very nicely of course you can um, as you know it from uh, TrueDrops Punch um, you can sort your tools and so they're sorted by tools and for example if I just make it slower you see that the laser um, path is applied and again laser processing punching and again laser processing so again as I said before um, a very similar to laser we have integrated a lot of functions which makes the day easier and it's really fun to work with new TrueDrops Boost and um, 
programming the punching laser and bending programs. So that should be enough for the cutting part. So in the next step um, we'll check our 3D parts and um, see what happened to them. Um, those two parts, so the back plate and the engine bracket, they are ready to go. The bend program was calculated and ready to being released. So I select both parts, orders, and release the bending program. So right now the NC is copied to the machine transfer folder and we are good to go. Other parts um, have got problems and for example the unfolding is incomplete and again you see the next programming step would be um, opening the part and create the unfolding. For that I open the part within our tech zone design and we just check what the problem here is. And actually I can see it um, straight away. There are some forms and um, we are of course warned that the part is not unfoldable. So what do I do with 3D forms? Um, as I mentioned before, we have we have uh, integrated a full 3D um, CAD system here, our design program, it's a direct modeler, and you can change anything on your 3D geometry. And that's a good thing, because um, once you have unfoldable parts, you don't have to send them back um, to your customer, wait for another day or two, and then proceed with your programming job. You can now um, do it yourself and um, basically communicate with the customer and repair the files. So we have integrated um, semi-automated identification of forms. Um, for that I just hit the identify button, then um, forms, and here I can even ignore cutouts and I see that eight Detect forms were detected. I just hit the check mark to complete, and as you can see, those forms are now um, being recognized as features. And if I validate my my geometry, the unfold is being created in the background. And once I open my my, my unfolding, um, I can go. I can. I can switch over to layers and um, switch on my switch on the layer of forms, and then you nicely see the form itself. Um, it's just a contour; it's not a hole. And it, as I said, it's a layer. What you can do with with that, we can um, create a drawing sheet for that, and for example, print it for the fabrication production and they can um, see that you can fully di dimension your drawing sheet and can even see where the form should be inserted. Well, I closed the part and um, check another part for bending. Well, for the next part, the L bracket, um, we can also see what's the situation there and um, basically it's very similar. Um, we can check how many volumes we have. It, it's one volume and again we identify the forms and detect them. It can proceed now to the bending program. So you've got an open task um, on the left bottom side and Anytime you see the calculating of bend, bending programs, um, it means that the part was unfoldable and you can proceed with the technology. So right now if I hit the button, the bending program is being started, the calculation is being started, so the optimum um, bending sequence is calculated, then of course the tooling plan the back edge finger strategies and if you want you can e switch it on. The NC could be generated here as well. 
and um, again if you change anything here um, there is a collision panel there's a property panel of your um, program and any collision any warning will be shown there and there are even some proposals on how to solve the problem so we do have some warnings and for example the press force is a uh, little too high for the select tools the warnings you can um, you can switch off but of course not collisions collisions you can also switch off but um, it wouldn't be good without solving them so what we can do we switch we go over to the side view and see how our forms are being recognized so a simulation preview in 3D and of course you can just hit um, one button and it will be simulated in um, realistic speed and we can check everything so we just close close the part and as the last example I'd like to show you um, how we do handle assemblies and what your benefit is what your main benefit with assemblies is I just delete the order because for samples, of course, I need um, to um, to order my single parts, and we switch over to single part. And of course, we are always warned whether the part is an assembly or not. And we can open it again within the design. And the good thing about our assembly feature is that we can identify the sheet metal parts by with just two clicks so we activate the function hit identifying of sheet metal part again another one that's also sheet metal part and that's obviously not a sheet metal part because you see that the um, thickness differs and we just don't hit the um, button and at the last step we would dissolve the assembly and that's a great thing um, once you import an assembly you're able to dissolve it in all um, its corresponding single parts you just um, close it close the, the assembly and what you see here within the home zone the parts are immediately being uh, validated and um, unfolded so for the, for the next step you see even the material um, was assigned already because the assembly had that information it wasn't a C doc otherwise if, if it's a, a step file um, there would be um, again a problem but once you create orders out of that you can assign a material um, for example a different material and again boost your files and again there are unfolded and you can proceed um, to your bending programs for that you just select your favorite machine ag and again hit the boost button so what we've seen in that webinar is if I activate again all my parts um, we have calculated I think four um, 3D parts we have calculated 2D parts um, for laser and punching laser um, technology and we have even dissolved one assembly with in its uh, all single parts and again you can s see that there are processed already technologies um, generated and we can release the programs into the machine folder as our last step